We're excited to tour you guys the facility today and talk about our partnership. My name's Svelke, I'm co-founder of High Street Cannabis. I'm part of the founding team, been uh, in the cannabis industry for over 20 years now. My legacy story is a product of my environment. We grew up in the Okanagan Valley, a hotbed for cannabis production from the likes of genetics, from the likes of growing, the environment and the knowledge that's been passed down generationally there. When we started, we weren't able to advertise operating in a medical environment. So we believe in the people in our community. So we, we choose to support local community initiatives and support the people doing arts and doing great causes locally. My name is Legend. My company is Legend Knit, and I turned it into a business. My background into crochet is like art, fashion, entertainment, music, and then there's the textile side. So when you're on the textile side, it's more like crocheters, knitters, you know, who do a lot of home crafts. So there's that side of it, where they want to learn how to do what you do. And there's the other aspect, which is just literally, in terms of crochet and wellness, uh, just providing community. I met Smokey before legalization. It was a different time, of course, different space. You know, from since then, we, we kind of just shared some same values and definitely want to be a, a staple in the community. We wanted to uh, align ourselves with a government that believed in cannabis. We took the time to pull our industry together and just everyone that had a benefit from the cannabis plant and sat down with government and talked about, you know, why we believe this plant is very important to us, very important to patients, to the science, to research, and why it should be legal. So we helped shape that policy early on. I feel like we connected on those levels, aside from just the cannabis. You know, he popped up at one of my Art of Crochet and Cannabis events uh, at uh, Trinity Bellwoods Park. We did about 13 sessions in the park and they've been supporting, you know, just providing cannabis for us to share. And, you know, it's just such a beautiful thing. I mean, now we're here in this space. So I think it's great when you're a part of something and you can actually like get down to the source, get down to the roots, you know, just being the source, right? Whether you're making your clothes, whether you're providing your food, whatever. And, and touching on like, again, the culture, man, just the aspects that people aren't talking about because it's more than just, you know, what you break up and, and roll up, right? If you look at these plants, man, the, the beauty is happening in here. We're not even seeing that. So a deeper dive into all aspects, but then providing that for, for the people. started High Street in August 2018 um, to get ahead of legalization. We wanted to build a brand that reflected back to our roots and foundational of community and compassion. I met Smokey in 2016 um, at a spot called 1066. I've recently connected with the cannabis industry, so I do uh, what's called Art of Crochet and Cannabis, connect with LPs in the city, obviously High Street, um, good friends with High Street and the pride of just the whole, everything they do is, you know, it's great, so. Uh, we got involved in university. It was a, a great, you know, cutting weed was a great way to um, help have some extra cash when we had student loans and to pay for university and was very fascinated by, by the industry. Um, you know, there's the wrong and right side of history always, whether it's racial segregation, LGBTQIA, women's right to vote. We've always believed that cannabis should have never been illegal. For me, uh, the industry right now is in survival mode. It's currently, you know, many, many companies are, you know, day in, day out just trying to keep their lights on. I think the community needs to come together and really reach out to help one another, like the work that we're doing here with Civilian and you know the art of crochet and many of the small stores to survive. Truthfully, I f it's like, it's really just um, giving time and space to the community. For me, obviously, I'm looking for more crochet artists looking to connect um, crochet with cannabis for so many other reasons, aside from just the record, like smoking and all that, you know, like 
this was illegal a few years ago, man. Like people are in jail still. Like there's just so much um, bullshit around it. When we talk about education, we talk about culture, like it's all of those aspects, you know? Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we've literally just touched the surface with like what we're doing. It's gonna be a challenging year for our industry and we're hoping for it to to settle and to, you know, build as an industry, a sustainable industry. And that's what we're hoping for um, with our retail partners, with our government partners, with, you know, our, our own team in the, in the growth side of things as well.